not much to say other than these t-shirts uh, they're only good for the next 60 days if you're wearing this t-shirt on November 9th what are you doing to celebrate either a victory or suffering a loss please if you feel like you need another shirt let me know I will get you another shirt but I've, I've probably got about 10 because between now and November 8th, you will see me wearing nothing but some sort of shirt that's got my name on it. If you want to wear a shirt every day, if I have to, I'll get you two or three more shirts. But if you go to Walmart, why spend all this time learning about this candidate if you're not willing to wear this shirt? In here, this is the choir and wearing that shirt, you're preaching to the choir and understand that. The day is the first day of this game and you're suiting up now's the time to go out on the field district 42 and it's time to go play ball and we play ball with our uniforms on and I realize it's just a shirt but it's a billboard it was designed specifically so people I don't think with your back I've seen some candidates put their name on the front of the shirt. Well, I'm telling you, you walk, you walk down Walmart and you see somebody's shirt, they're probably not going to make eye contact with you and not even look at you because they don't want to get accused of looking at your personal area. Especially if you just happen to be a woman. They're going to turn around and look at you when you walk by, so they're going to see the back of this shirt. That may be the only time that that voter sees that name and says, I just happen to like that person that was wearing that shirt, and if that person meant enough <clears throat> to that candidate, and that candidate meant enough to that person for them to wear that shirt out in public, I think I could vote for that man. During the early voting, I own what I call the corner, Maine and Municipal. <coughs> this election is going to be won during that two weeks of early voting based on how many red shirts are out there compared to how many just call it blue shirts, if you will. Somebody said he's got multicolored. Uh, somebody seen the signs of it. Had red, white, and blue. I, I, you know, I'm American, but let's let's pick a color here. <laughs> this happens to be what we're going to call the red team. We're going to refer to him as being the blue team. Uh, Jacksonville is red, and I chose that color. Uh, just happens to be Republican red, I guess, if you want to. But, uh, but he's got red, white, and blue, and I, I don't know. I, I think uh, there's other ways to play on your patriotism without having to confuse the voters to what color he's representing. But when somebody turns off of Main Street on the municipal to go during that early voting, they're going to see a, color, a field of colors. And if they have not yet decided what candidate they're going to vote on, that day when they pull in there, they will see signs and t-shirts so that is the day to wear your t-shirt and show your colors that's going to help those last minute uh what we call those early on not the early adopters but the laggards they're going to come in at last they're going to say all right i'm going to be the last 16 percent that's going to make my decision right at the last minute and uh, I'm going to vote for those guys in the red shirt, whoever that, I can't read the name on that shirt, but I'm going to vote for whoever that name is, and I'm going to figure out whose name is on it, because all I see them was a bunch of red shirts. If it's raining, I will be out there, and I will probably be in yellow. It will. <laughs> <laughs> that yellow will draw attention, and if any of you want to come out there in yellow, uh, you're welcome to join me. So, you've got your shirts, you got your team colors, you got your uh, billboard, and again, if you want some more shirts, if we have to order more, we can get more. So, uh, the guy that did these shirts, uh, he responded pretty quick. Son, yes, sir. I'm not mistaken, but we do go in and early vote and vote. We can't have a shirt. Do not wear the shirt. <laughs> 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 if. Yeah, yeah, we cannot campaign within 100 feet of the, the building. So the day that you plan on voting, bring you a coat, walk in with your coat on. Don't let, you know, the fact that, 
<laughs> the fact that you have a red t-shirt on underneath doesn't mean much. No. That's okay. You just cannot see any of the vote or the name or anything. Cover, cover yourself up. Glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. I was not going to mention that. They can just wear a red shirt. Uh, you can wear a red shirt. The note says you can't wear a red shirt. Uh, just don't walk in there with any buttons uh, or hand out anything. It's not the time to be handing out any business cards. So. Uh, 